Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Okay. I am dying to know, actually. Oh. We're talking about something really interesting today. Are we? What are we talking about? We are talking about some forensic study that Ooh. our good mate Tim has been involved in years and years ago. Yeah. Um, his uh, facility, the Eco Memorial Park, uh, was a site for some testing that some uni Ooh. students came and did some forensic studies. Oh, I would love to have been there to do Regarding that. some decomposition and different rates wow. of... That's so so we're going to invite Tim in to come Hi, and join Tim. us. How are you going, Tim? Welcome Thanks. back. Thanks for joining Thank us you. again Hello. today. Hello. We're just out in situ at the moment, a little um, rural cemetery, beautiful light and gorgeous place to be yes. for the living. Yes, for the living, <laughs> yes. It's very beautiful. Looking All right. At, looking at my last home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Couldn't do better, could you? Hopefully Gorgeous. not for a long time yet. <laughs> All right, so Tim, we're here to talk to you about the students, when the students came to visit. Now, this was a while ago. Um, yeah. So, um, first of all, I guess we better tell people where you are. We're, we're on the northern end of the Gold Coast. That's where your facility is. Yep. And, and, and what sort of a business do you run there? Uh, we have a funeral home and crematorium mm -hmm. at Eco Memorial Park. Been on site there since 1990-ish. Right. Um, built from scratch and we now operate the crematorium out of there and there's yep. memorial gardens. Beautiful um, gardens. Yep. 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 Um, but we were privileged uh, to uh, know some people from the university and we would worked with them fairly closely doing some exhumations of people. Um, and they came to us and asked us if we would be able to give them a little section of land uh, to conduct experiments on, um, you know, bits and pieces of people. Yeah. And they supplied the fencing and made it all secure and uh, were able to come and go as they pleased to uh, conduct some experiments on uh, pieces of, of bodies. So, uh, there was one particular uh, situation there that I remember where uh, one of the scientists had a uh, whole lot of fish tanks. Uh, and she had uh, some, I think they were uh, kneecaps, oh, wow. uh, and she was, and these are uh, these pieces were donated to mm. science for the purpose of understanding what happens. So yeah, uh, people yeah. donating the bodies. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, we couldn't think of a better place than at a, at a consecrated site to be able to be doing yeah. this out in the yeah. out in the um, environment. Uh, and one of those e experiments was how the human body degrades. Uh, based in salt water and fresh water, comparing the two. Wow, okay. So she had a whole oh, lot of fish tanks okay. along there, some with salt water, yep. some with heavy salt water, some with Different fresh water. Yeah. yeah, obviously they were locked and you couldn't get yep. in and out yeah. of them. Um, and another uh, example was when the um, there was someone studying criminology and they wanted to understand how long fingerprints lasted on uh, mirrors, you know, like yep. uh, oh, rear yep. view mirrors, mm, yep. um, and they brought a whole lot of samples of rear view mirrors in, and we put them in the cremator for a little bit of time, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, and they tested them each time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, isn't that fascinating? That's cool. Yeah, that's really yeah. fascinating. And one of the um, professors that you were dealing with was doing some work on ballistics and the the different effects that um, oh, wow. um, munition can have on the body. That's and, interesting. And and its decomposition as well. So were uh, there actually body pieces buried anywhere, or so it was kind of almost like a body farm situation oh. for a little while there. Yeah, a little yeah. mini yep. body farm. Body farm. Body, bonnie, bonnie, a little bonnie, bonnie. little body farm. <laughs> I'm not even Scottish and I sounded Scottish <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, it's a little mini body farm. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. It's really, it's stuff like that fascinates. It's yeah. just, just fascinating. That's really fascinating stuff. And those pieces that were buried under the ground had a, uh, a mesh, a steel mesh that uh -huh. was put over the cool. top, yep. you know, and then the soil put over the top of that. Yep. So there was no way that they could be um, tampered with or, yeah. tampered or animals pulling yeah. out or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. How long did the studies go for? Oh, that did you know? went, came and went for a couple of years. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That's yeah. really yeah. cool. Oh, it's interesting that you haven't had anyone approach you recently. There mustn't be anything going on. Well, there's a lot more hospital facilities around now as well mm. and a lot more other you know, the, yeah. the, our town has grown. Yep. Um, yeah. there's, a, there's a lot more opportunity for, for yeah. scientists to do what they yeah. want to do. This is a long time ago. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's interesting, um, isn't it? Australia now, down in the Sydney area, have its, has its own body farm now, like they do in the States. Yeah. I know um, they opened one a few years ago down there. Uh, but um, because I think that's still the only one in Australia, isn't it? The, the only mm. body farm we have is in yep. the Sydney area. And yeah. I guess they need those facilities to um, yeah. to get a baseline. 
so that then they can compare their forensics. Well, forensics they... advanced have advanced for so many years, haven't they? We've gone mm. from you know not being able to solve anything to now with the people doing the body donations and donating their body to science for this kind of thing and medical things is a really well, it's it's really good and you know. I think we should try and sometime try and get to the body donor mm. place and maybe chat to the guys there too. Yeah. yeah. So one, just one of the, the one of the other reasons for the the initial uh, connection was to un, for the scientists to understand the degradation of DNA right. and over time yep. how the DNA had degraded over yep. time and how many how much of that link had gone missing. Or, yep. or I don't. I'm not a scientist, so no, I don't understand yeah, that. No. But, yeah. Me know. neither. So yeah. yeah. But it's quite fascinating. Quite interesting. Yeah. 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 Really oh, good cool! In hindsight, that's oh, good that you can be a part of that and, and yeah. help out in your yeah. way. Yes. Wow! Look at what you've done for science. Yes, Tim. <laughs> maybe we, hopefully we we'll save someone's Amazing. life or solve the crime. Maybe solve yeah. the crime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you, you probably have. That's yeah, it's pretty good. It's very impressive that we got stuff like that. Yeah, it's going happen. on locally. Have yeah. you got any other questions for Tim? Um, with regard to that topic um, anyone else if you've got any questions yeah, for Tim please send them in yeah. write them in the comments below please. and we'll definitely pass them on to Tim he yeah. usually sees them before we do yeah. and, um, and, and we'll he'll answer them list. as best he can that, yeah. nothing else you want to say on the topic yeah so don't forget good. to like <laughs> subscribe and share to these guys they do Yay. a wonderful job thanks Tim thanks, Tim. thanks right. for your time thanks. See, ya. see you guys take, right. care. take care bye bye